I'm back again, trying to get my life together. I've been in a constant loop of trying to get my shit together, it's together for a little bit, and then everything falls apart. So the cycle continues. I literally just made a video two weeks ago of deep cleaning and organizing my apartment. That's all, that's all gone. I'm doing a little bit of everything to physically feel my best, mentally feel my best, all the things. So I figured we'd hang out, do it together, maybe motivate you. Starting off strong, I've been really good about waking up early on the weekdays. I just feel like it sets me up for a better day, so. 7.43, I signed up for an 8.30 workout class. I'm trying a new workout today, which I haven't done a new type of workout in so long. That makes me so nervous. I wanted to cancel it so badly, but I don't wanna, I didn't wanna get charged. I am excited. I think it's just the fear of the unknown that scares me, but I'm doing a body core microformer class. It says it's a high intensity, low impact, muscular strengthening, muscular endurance, and core focused fitness experience. The microformer adds another additional layer of intensity by challenging balance and stability. This 45 minute heart pumping, beat dropping class will have you sweating, shaking, and asking for more. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I kind of just wanted to change it up. Sometimes I feel like I get bored of doing the same things. So we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna see if I, if I make it out. be shocked if I can walk uh, the next few days. That was so good. It was so challenging. Honestly, I think I really needed that. I don't know. Sometimes I miss being challenged with working out. I feel like when I was an athlete, when I was doing volleyball, especially in high school and like for club, you get pushed and it's really hard to do that yourself when you're not in sports and all your workouts, how hard you work yourself is entirely up to you. You don't have like a coach screaming at you or teammates that, you know, need you to perform and do your best. So that was really good. I don't know how soon I will be doing that again, but I definitely will. And I also just feel really proud of myself that I did that. It always feels super accomplishing to do hard things. So starting off the morning with a little accomplishment like that feels really, really good. I talked about struggling with body acne in my last YouTube video and it was really comforting to hear some of you relate to it, also have struggled with it. And a lot of you gave some really good advice. So I bought myself a body acne wash, which right now I'm just using like a fun little fruity scent, which is good for like smelling good, but I needed something that was gonna target acne. I wanted to get the Curology body cleanser because that has worked really well for me in the past, but they didn't have it at the store. So I got this Naturium salicylic acid body wash. So I used that today on my chest, on my back. I've been a freak about gua shying my face trying to aim for every single day. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but I feel like I've been very consistent with this for the most part. Please tell me that you notice a difference and I indeed look snatched. Otherwise I'm probably gonna freak out. I'm definitely not the one to be instructing on how to do this, but there's a lot of tutorials online if you wanna look it up. And regardless of whether my face is getting snatched or not, which fingers crossed, hope it is, I just feel like it does a really good job at depuffing my face and it's kind of gross, but when I do this motion, so there's lymphatic drainage going on, I think, and you can literally like sometimes taste you pushing like the mucus and the buildup down. Kind of gross, but it's really good for circulation. You'll see in a sec how rosy my cheeks will get just from the amount of blood flow that it's getting. Literally looks like I'm wearing blush, but it's just some good old blood flow. I'm gonna get started on some chores, cross some things off the to-do list.
We're taking shots. Health shots. This is Magic Mind. Productivity elixir. Boost energy and focus. Crush procrastination. Elevate mental clarity. They are actually a sponsor of the podcast. So I've been drinking them. I really, really like it. To keep these productive vibes going, I'm gonna have a little Celsius. This is the lemon lime. So good. One of my, probably my favorite flavor, honestly. Drinking it in a separate cup truly feels so illegal. I kind of started the moving process. You might've seen that in one of my recent videos, but I'll show you what my room looks like now. So I have two bedrooms and the second bedroom is where I've been keeping all the boxes, the stuff that I've been packing up this far. It's kind of just become like the dumping ground. It's horrific. I avoid this room as much as possible. Probably within the next week or so, I'm probably gonna start packing up bits and pieces of the rest of the apartment because fingers crossed, I keep saying that, but everything, everything about this has been tentative this, tentative that, things have always been getting pushed back. So hopefully as of right now, which I feel like shouldn't fluctuate too much, we're gonna be moving into the house in a matter of give or take 30 or so days. And then we are out of this place, out of town, into suburbia. I'm gonna record an episode for the podcast. I'm really excited about the theme of this one. So by the time you're watching this, it'll be my most recent episode if you wanna go listen, but I'm gonna talk about how to stop caring what people think about you. It's cool to care about things. And to a certain extent, yes, you're gonna care what people think, but when it comes to the point where it's controlling your life, that's where it can get out of hand. And I feel like for me, I've struggled with that and I know a lot of people do too. So I'm gonna record a whole episode about that right now. We'll see what other micro topics we get into because I feel like I always just bounce all over the place because that is how my brain works. If you're a listener of the podcast, it's a little visual of what I look like. Sometimes I don't have pants on though. For sunscreen, I've been using the Elta MD one. I've heard so many good things about it for acne prone skin. So I got the tinted one. I really, really like this. I'll link it down below. I feel like you can only get it from dermatology-esque stores. Like you can't really buy it at the drugstore or anything. I just want to feel a little bit cute and a little bit put together for the rest of my day. I'm also, as you can tell clearly, in the clothes that I slept in, which I try not to do, but it's just so comfy. And I feel like it's like not too pajama eat. Well, I'm literally wearing boxer shorts. So I take that back. I usually don't let myself do that, but it's a little work from home treat. I'm so curious for the day since trends come and trends go in 2017, it was all about contour. No one was using blush and now everyone looks sunburnt. I love it. Like people love blush. I love blush. I'm a part of that. And I can't see a world in which I don't like to put blush all over my face and like maybe a little bit too much of it. But there's a possibility that in like 10 years, I look at photos and I'm like, girl, what are we doing? But life's too, too serious in other ways. Trying to get rid of my acne scars. Trying is the key word. There's products that I've tried that have definitely helped. I'm actually gonna try face lasering soon, which I'm really excited about. So I'm hoping that'll help even more. And if not, honestly, I've kind of just gotten used to the scars on my face. I, as you can tell, I don't even really try to like cover it that much anymore. I was like, I'm not gonna let this have control over me. No, no, no. I don't want to give it that power. So many of us struggle with acne, with scarring. Be nice to yourself. It's so easy to get down in the dumps, trust me, I do too, but first of all, no one notices it or even pays attention to it nearly as much as you do, if not at all. And it also doesn't define you unless you let it. All right, my stomach's growling and I'm getting hangry and moody, let's eat. Last night we made homemade miso soup. It turned out so good. I made a little TikTok and reel since I've been on my short form grind but I have leftovers. So I think I'm gonna have that for lunch. We'll see how it held up second day, but it's so good. It's got tofu, pork, watercress. It's freaking delicious. I made the rice. I made the rice. Something about a good soup is so comforting. I'm kind of sad that soup season is coming to a close. Also, I am so curious to try the curly girl hair method. So many of you in the comments have told me that you think I should try it. And I'm curious because obviously like my natural hair is not straight. It's very wavy, but I'm curious if I did a curly hair routine, if it would be like actually, the curls would actually come out. I'm curious. I'm also like not trying to put in that much effort to do that all the time, but it might be a fun experiment. Let me know. I mean, what do you think? 
sometimes the pieces are so wavy. Sometimes a little ringlet will come out, but it never looks that good. I am eating well today. What a treat. Let's see how it tastes the day after. I can't eat with my hair up. It's a curse. There is genuinely no circumstance where I can, unless I'm like trying to be cute and I need to be cute in front of someone, which like I don't, I can't eat with my hair in my face. Like I need to get to work. Yes. taco night i feel like this has become like a weekly tradition which i've just been obsessed with the tacos that we make it's so good sorry behind put stuff <laughs> coming and then the pan honestly it's very easy you just have to prep all the things make the turkey which i almost burnt and set on fire but i didn't Our fire alarms haven't been having a battery in it for like a month. Don't do that. And check your fire alarms once a month. And check your fire alarms once a month. Change your batteries at least once a year. And change your batteries when it starts doing that beepy thing. Thumbs up. Micah's off today, it's Prince Kuhio day, so we're having a little, I don't know, we're just hanging out. I popped into that store because Micah was like, ooh, those board shorts look really nice. And then I started looking around, so I bought that brown dress <laughs> that I showed you guys in the shorts too. I feel like denim shorts are so hit or miss, and those ones I really liked. I don't like super high rise, but I also don't want it like ridiculously low rise, so it was perfect, but it's a really pretty day outside. We're gonna try and hop in the water, get some vitamin D, swim around, Enjoy his day off, our day off. This literally looks like it's for a family of four. We're having a little at-home sushi date night. Duraku is literally our favorite place. So much of our money goes there. Sometimes we'll eat there. The ambiance is so nice in there. They have a few locations on Oahu, but their takeout also is so good. Spicy tuna, crispy rice, flavored cauliflower, some sushi rolls. Ooh! My carpaccio. They literally gave us... <laughs> Stop. Look how many chopsticks, no. Mm. 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 I just finished editing my podcast episode for this week. My eyes feel like they're turning into squares, so that's super good. I'm probably just gonna do my skincare, go to bed. Today, we bought rugs for the house, which I'm so excited about. That's been something I've been meaning to do because I feel like for the bedroom and the living room at least, I wanted to have that all squared away, so. Bought two rugs, very excited about that. When you're watching this video, I think it's what, March 30th? By the time tomorrow comes, April 1st, it will be moving month, even though it'll be at the end of the month, but still, April's gonna be a very interesting month. Updates to come on that because <laughs> a wrench has been thrown in the plans. Something unexpected has happened. That's really mysterious, but I'm probably just gonna leave it at that. I'm so sorry. 